It's always a good day when you get mail from Three Rivers Manufacturing. How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today I got mail from TRM, and I'm excited about it because it's a new knife that I have not had a chance to check out yet. And the last time we did, well, it was really, really good. We checked out the TRM Atom, and needless to say, I was impressed. Scored very well, and yes, that knife was a grail so this is the trm shadow and it has a lot to live up to we're going to dive deep we're going to find out just how good is the trm shadow oh and without giving away the farm i'm just going to give you a hint you might want to stick around to the end of the video as well because there could be something in it for you let's go ahead and check out the trm shadow guys if you couldn't tell by the beginning of the video i am super excited about this one but uh, this knife is not the only thing that was sent my way we've also got a patch we've got a titanium keychain called the tie tag we've got a trm bit kit with the weha bits that's pretty cool and then we of course have some stickers and a titanium river stone that's pretty sweet. So you might be wondering, what's up with all of this stuff? Well, before we get into it, I first and foremost have to say thank you to Three Rivers Manufacturing for sending this my way. You see, they saw my video on the Atom, they reached out and they said, hey, uh, if you want to do a giveaway, we'd love to partner with you for that. And that is extremely generous considering that this package right here is you know, close to a $400 package that they have donated to the channel so that I could donate it to you and this is the part where i mentioned that we're about to hit 5,000 subscribers that's right 5,000 subscribers it, it blows my mind but we're going to be doing this one a little bit differently somewhere throughout this video there will be a giveaway code that pops up on the screen it'll be a word um, i'm not going to tell you when it's going to pop up on the screen so you're going to have to watch the whole video all the way through to make sure that you catch it just keep an eye out for it. When you see it, leave a comment and include that code in your comment. Uh, that will effectively enter you to win the giveaway. All of this stuff will be included as much as I would love to keep it. Um, it is actually for you. So keep an eye out for that. And if you want to be entered in the giveaway, make sure you keep your eye out for the code. And again, leave a comment that includes the code word. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and clear this stuff off and talk about this. First and foremost, they do sell these uh, these knife boxes. These are super cool. The first time that I looked at it, I struggled because I just tried to pull it out. Uh, no, you see these ridges right here? You just give it a little twist, it'll pop, and then it pulls out. Uh, that's really, really clever, very useful. I like that a lot. Inside the tube, we have the TRM Shadow River Lock. Sticker right here says extremely sharp. And here it is, the TRM Shadow River Lock. Dang, that's a good looking knife. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll go over the specs. I'm gonna talk about what I like. I'll talk about what I don't like. Then I'll give you my final opinion. So let's start off with the materials. We're looking at G10 handle scales, uh, CPM 20 CV on the blade. It does have thumb studs and the river lock, which is of course a play on the Benchmade axis lock. Since the patent expired, they were able to make this just like everybody else. Uh, it, so that is in fact running on Omega Springs. It is a single sided captive pivot. On one side, you get this kind of seashell design. I don't know if that was intentionally supposed to look like a seashell, but you know, once I see it, I can't unsee it. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. 
On this side, we have a T8 screw. Titanium deep carry bent pocket clip, and then T6 screws. It does have a G10 backspacer, but it's almost, it's kind of interesting because I, it looks like it is part of one of the uh, handle scale slides. It looks like it's part of the show side handle scale. So instead of being a separate piece, it looks like it's uh, kind of a clamshell variant. I like it. I like it a lot. The blade shape, we are looking at a clip point. This is in fact the same blade shape that you get on the TRM Nerd, which is another knife that I really would love to check out at some point. Um, and we are looking at a flat grind on the blade. Uh, I don't believe that this is a full flat grind, but I do believe that this is a flat grind. Uh, you have this really generous finger cutout slash sharpening choil here at the front. So you can of course choke up. For the dimensions, we're looking at a 3.2 inch blade. This is 0 0.9 inches thick. Uh, that is very thin. And if I had to take a guess, uh, this looks just as thin as the TRM Atom, which means that it's going to be slicey. It says, you know, careful, extremely sharp, and it's already peeling off parts of my finger. Don't worry, I'll clean it up for the giveaway. It is a flat grind on the blade. I just confirmed that. First and foremost, this knife has great ergonomics. These G10 handle scales are really nicely milled. They feel really good in the hand. The ergos are fantastic. A lot of that has to do with this big forward finger cutout, which is very reminiscent of what you find on Spydercos. Uh, but unlike Spydercos, this is actually part handle scale, part blade. And the way that they mold together for that front choke up point is fantastic. That is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. The next thing that I really like is the balance. The balance on here is great. You're going to see the balance point right around the pivot. Uh, so that's great. It's going to feel natural in the hand. Can you reverse grip it? Absolutely. Can you do a regular grip on it? Absolutely. Uh, can you do a choked up grip on it? Absolutely. No issues there. Something else that I like is that this is 100% made in the USA. Three Rivers Manufacturing did all of this stuff. They even made this pocket clip in house. Now, this might look like your standard fair uh, bent and stamped pocket clip, but each one of these is made one by one. They're cut via water jet in house, then bent using a pneumatic press then tumbled. Uh, that process to do that all in-house and one by one means that each clip is manufactured to a standard of quality. Now, I'm not typically a fan of bent clips, but in this case, it functions really well. You see how those screws are flat in there and then the clip itself is inset? That's some attention to detail that we often miss when it comes to bent clips, but it's going to mean that it doesn't matter if you're wearing a thick material type pant like uh, say Carhartts, there's nothing to snag. This is going to fit really well in the pocket. They mention on their website that this knife was meant to be used. They built this knife to be used and that's fantastic. I feel like in this scenario, G10 is a really good material because if it was titanium, maybe people would just slap it in their display case and call it a day. Of course, if you buy it, do with it as you will. But I actually really appreciate the G10 because it keeps it nice and light and it reminds you not to baby it. This is a knife that demands to be used and not only is it a collector's piece, but it's one that you can use and not feel bad about using. That's fantastic. There's a lot to love about this knife and the more that I talk about it, the more I wish that I could just hang on to it. I, I am probably going to have to buy one of these because I can definitely see a TRM in my future. But it's not all sunshines and rainbows. You know, very few knives are perfect. Um, this one is really good, but there are, in fact, a few things that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, first thing that I'm not a huge fan of is these body screws. While there's not many of them, in fact, there's only one on the show side to, to hold together the steel liner that contains this river lock. Uh, this body screws are T6. I'm not entirely sure why and 
the reason, if you're wondering why I'm not a huge fan of T6 screws, especially when they are so prevalent, it's because they strip more easily. Does that mean that these screws will strip if I go to take it apart? No. It just means that it's possible, it's more possible that they will if I take it apart multiple times. Smaller screw heads means that more opportunity for that to happen. I would have preferred to have seen T8 across the board, but we didn't, and that's honestly okay. Plenty of knives have T6 body screws. It's just something that I would have liked to have seen T8. Just a personal preference there. Uh, the next thing is no jimping. We have an amazing forward finger choil on here, uh, forward grip. You can choke up on here. You can tell that it was meant to be choked up on for extra support, for extra detail. And that's fantastic. Um, I'm wondering why we don't have jimping there. Um, some people might say, well, on a blade this thin, do you really need it? And, you know, at that point, it really does become personal preference. Maybe they didn't want to mess with the ergos or make the top of the blade too rough. But personally, I would have liked to have had some extra grip here on the top spine of the blade because it just would have added a little bit firmer, more secure grip without having your finger be able to slide around up here. Those are nitpicks, guys. Those are not big issues. Those are not reasons that I would avoid this knife. Um, it is, in fact, something that I'm a, a big fan of. Uh, this knife was built and designed to be used. It wasn't meant to be a fidget monster, uh, or at least fidgety in the sense that we have come to know fidgety in the knife community. Here, here's what I mean. I personally think that a knife is fidgety when it's done so well that you want to pick it up and hold it and use it. Um, the more you like a knife, the more likely you are to handle it. And that's the case with this one. It's not fidgety because it has the most amazing action in the world. It's fidgety because it's just so damn good that I could see myself carrying this knife every single day and being happy with it. If you're someone that, you know, buys knives to carry them and use them specifically, um, or maybe you just want something that's super slicey, this is one that you're going to want to hold on to. It's going to be one that you want to put in your pocket, and it's going to be really at home there. So is it fidgety because it has amazing action? No, the action is decent, but it's not, you know, amazing. It's not going to be super guillotine unless you have that pivot loosened to the point where there is a tiny amount of blade play. Um, personally, as much as I like having full shut action, I would much rather have zero blade play. And with that pivot tightened a little bit more, you can get there without an issue. If you want a fall shut action, you can achieve it. Uh, you just have to have the pivot loose into the point where it will fall shut. Uh, but at that point, you will in fact have a tiny amount of blade play that is insignificant and does not actually affect the performance of the knife. So that's just my preference. How strong is the river lock? Well, it is based on Omega Springs and some people have had issues with those. Other people have batoned with knives that have Omega Springs and been able to baton through logs, no problem. So, you know, your mileage may vary. I haven't done those tests on these knives because, well, this one is going to be given away. But, you know, if anyone would like to donate their TRM Shadow so that I can baton with it on camera, let me know. My email address is in the description down below, and I would love to do that. I just know that I can't guarantee anything if that happens. So, um... Something that I haven't mentioned yet, but should have made its way into the uh, positive or the pros category is this filler tab right here for the ambidextrous pocket clip. That's a nice touch. But ultimately, guys, this is a knife that you probably already know by now I really like. And I hope that you've noticed the secret code pop up in the video so far. If you haven't, you might want to scroll back through and see if you can find it. Um, that is how you can enter to win this knife and all the extra stuff that came with it. Again, shout out and thank you to Three Rivers Manufacturing for their generosity and for being willing to sponsor the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, if you want one of these and you don't want to wait for the giveaway, I hear that they are coming out with some in a Merlot Micarta which looks absolutely gorgeous. Check them out on Instagram. I'll have that pop up here on the screen as well. Guys, if you want to see more awesome knife content, uh, go ahead and click on the video that pops up next. <laughs>